Hey friend, welcome to the day of software developers life with MX Keys Mini and MX Master 3S. To give this combo a proper test I decided to switch to it as my main keyboard and mouse and use it every day for a week. Logitech sent this mouse and keyboard combo to me for test. Anyways, they don't have any impact on the content of the video and if you have your notifications enabled, most probably you are watching this video before them. I'm starting the day with running or exercise with dumbbells. No, I'm not an athlete or something like that. I was a lazy potato for about two months after hand injury and now I'm just trying to get back on track. Other team members in current consulting projects start to work at about 10 o'clock in my time zone, so I have plenty of time for my side projects or content creation in the mornings. I charge the keyboard and mouse overnight to see how long the batteries would hold. After running and breakfast, I am ready for work. This is not my first Logitech keyboard or mouse. I bought a Logitech Craft many years ago and liked it. That is similar to MX Keys keyboard, but I don't need numpad. Because of numpad, the mouse was too far away from my right hand and I stopped using it. I used Logitech Key 380 as my keyboard of choice for the iPad for many years. The size of Key 380 feels right, but the round keycaps are a bit too small for my sausage fingers. So I hope that MX Keys Mini can solve those problems for me. Okay, time for work. As an iOS developer, I spend most of my day programming, basically that is just typing. Okay, I do plenty of searching for solutions on Stack Overflow as well, but that's still is typing, right? <laughs> MX Case Mini working perfectly for this purpose. It fits in the sweet spot for small size and still perfectly comfortable keys. The keyboard feels right and the matte coating on the keys is pleasant to touch. Smart illumination works excellent. It does not waste energy during the day or when you do not use the keyboard and make case readable at night. If you like to have full size arrow keys and numpad, MX Keys will be the right choice for you. I prefer the compact MX Case Mini. I expected that I would miss full size arrow keys, but the size and position are the same as on MacBook Pro keyboard and it sorts out that I have no problems with them. No doubt all of us saw Logitech mouses before. Are they good? I will say one of the best. When I started freelancing, I bought Logitech MX Master 2S and used it for years until I had to switch to an ergonomic mouse after hand injuries. Now my hands are okay and I was happy to return to the Logitech MX Master Series mouse. I miss the two scroll wheels so much. And clickable electromagnetic uh, scroll lets you scroll thousand lines in one second, which is handy if you are working on some <laughs> legacy projects with horrible architecture and way too long classes. This class right here is packed with bad decisions and compromises, but at least we can get to the bottom of this 3800 100 lines really quickly. <laughs> Side scroll is very helpful to get around in bigger storyboards and is must have if you are editing videos. I'm using Final Cut Pro to edit all my Instagram Reels, TikToks and YouTube videos. Side scroll is super helpful when I'm getting around in the timeline. You can customize the individual buttons and set customizations for your favorite apps. Endless possibilities. After a good morning work session, meetings start to kick in. Meetings are necessary evil in teamwork, so we also help them. The keyboard and mouse do not make big difference in meetings, except if you're making notes or updating tickets while you are on calls. MX Master 3 is silent compared with the regular mouse and you still have about the same click feedback. I still feel that I clicked that button, but there is almost no sound. The keyboard is quiet as well, so MX Keys is a good choice if you don't want to be that uh, loudly typing person on call or in office. I'm doing co-working live streams as well. You may like to have a silent keyboard or stick to the mechanical keyboard for vibe. That's more like subjective choice. But multiple device support is must have nowadays. I have uh, one more keyboard attached to my live streaming PC, but I decided to go all in with the Logitech MX combo this week. So I'm using Bluetooth to connect to the Mac and iPad. And I have Logitech USB receiver to connect devices to the PC. I have a few more receivers at home, but Bluetooth has zero lags during the whole week so I'm sticking with Bluetooth for Mac and iPad, it just works. 
three device switching buttons on the keyboard and on mouse help to jump between devices quickly. The Logitech Flow app allows you to switch between devices by moving the cursor from one machine to another. That works perfectly fine as well. The same work for iPad using universal controls. So you can move over to the iPad screen to start using the keyboard and mouse on that. And yeah, usually I eat lunch at home, but today I decided to move to the coffee shop to have a late lunch and get some admin work done. I have the magic keyboard for iPad Pro, but if you don't have one, I suggest you consider MX case mini and Logitech mouse as an external input devices. Here is why magic keyboard for iPad is an excellent product. I like it, but it is not cheap at all. And if you compare weight, you can see that it is around 710 grams versus 663 grams for MX Case Mini and MX Master 3S combo. So Magic Keyboard for iPad is a little bit heavier and for much lower price, you are getting a better typing and mouse experience. And this is multi-purpose device. Are there any pros to Magic Keyboard? Uh, sure, it is all in one device connected to the iPad. You can grab it and go but at the same time there is a con as well you can't use it and attach it from the ipad to move it in more ergonomic position forward uh, i think that mx keys and actually any bluetooth mouse is really good external input devices for iPad. At the end of the day, after spending time with family, I often come back to the workplace to work on side projects or videos, but sometimes I play video games. I use it to spend endless nights playing games before, and I would like to have something from Logitech gaming series devices for those long gaming nights, but nowadays I'm a casual gamer and MX Keys Mini and MX Master 3S are good enough for casual, non-competitive gaming. A silent keyboard and will help to not wake up the family. The mouse is highly precise, so you can play and work on any surface. Probably all the gamers will have a gamepad, but for example, if you have a glass desk in the office, you still will be fine. And of course it works just fine on wooden desk. I'm tracking time to see how I'm spending my work days. And here are statistics from this week. So on Monday we have 9 hours, 11 hours on Tuesday. For some reason I lost statistics from Wednesday. From statistics we can see that I have no life and sitting on front of the Mac way too long. But anyways, I'm spending 9 to 11 hours actively using computer in work days and uh, on mouse we still have 80% of charge and keyboard still shows that it is full. Anyways, it seems that uh, they will hold the charge for a while and there is no problem connecting devices and using them while they are charged. You don't need to put cable in the bottom of your mouse, so you are good anyways. Thanks Logitech for sending test devices to me, but video is not sponsored by them this is funded by all who decided to hit the join button on the channel and yeah thank you for everyone who is subscribed and enabled those notifications see you next one thanks bye bye